Tonight, help me Hank getting answers from Detroit's mayor about the big hit facing Detroit's demolition program. The city officially putting contractors on notice saying the demolition program is on hold unless the city council supports the upcoming demolition bond. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester live with more and this has a lot of neighborhood groups concerned as well, Hank. Devin, it certainly does because there's been so much progress regarding demolition. I mean, I think the one thing everybody can agree on, the mayor, city council, everyday Detroiters, nobody wants to see homes like this one in their neighborhood, especially on this street. There are a lot of families. There are well-maintained properties. This house has to come down. The mayor has his plan moving forward. He wants that demo bond passed by council. But there are council members that say that may not happen. As you know, there are some council people that oppose the demo bond. Right. Uh, they, they have concerns about mm. corruption. They have right. concerns about the auditor's probe. What do you say to those council members? Um, for the last three years, the federal government has supervised every single demolition we've done. They've released $265 million without fail uh, because the problems we had four years ago have been straightened out. Uh, and I'm very confident we'll finish the job well. Could Detroit's demolition program and all the progress that's been made tearing down abandoned homes soon vanish? Here's why. It really comes down to a battle between the mayor and city council. The mayor wanting council to pass his huge demo bond. It would then go to the people for a vote next year. However, we're told some council members have big concerns. Why? Well, the demo program has not only previously been under investigation, but a recent report by Detroit's Auditor General was anything but flattering, essentially saying the program is mismanaged. So what we're saying to people is we can sell these bonds. Your taxes won't be any higher than what they are now. Uh, and we can remove blight from the city. And don't the children in the poorest neighborhoods deserve the same opportunity as the children in the wealthier neighborhoods? Duggan's fight to take on blight has been successful if you look at the sheer number of homes that have come tumbling down. In fact, the mayor has set a goal to make Detroit blight free by 2024. We've been there on the ground watching these dangerous homes come down. We're just grateful. Thank you so much. And you guys came and took care of it. I was happy and I said, thank you, Lord, and I wanted to just dance. <laughs> Neighbors obviously thrilled to see the results, but could that progress soon be halted? Back out here live. So you have the support from a lot of neighborhood groups. You've obviously got the mayor working to push this forward. Uh, the concern, uh, some of the council members and also that auditor's report, which really was scathing and had very little positive impact and, and things to say about Detroit's demolition program altogether. We're live here tonight on the west side. Hank Winchester, back to you. Part of why the council has been uh, putting off the vote. Do we have one set yet on uh, when council will vote on the demolition bond? And Devin, you're right, they have been delaying it and, and the timing of the auditor's report is not good regarding this vote. But we are told that it could be uh, brought up for council to vote on Tuesday. If it does pass, it will go to the people uh, early next year. Back to you. Yeah. All right, Hank, we will follow it.